What's up guys? So moving on to the next example, we have to find the domain and range from a set of graphs and whether or not the relations are functions or not. So let's start off with this first graph here. The domain, the set of values that the x can take, anything. Because this is just a wave, sort of like a trig function that goes on forever. So the x values, there's an infinite amount of x values. So the domain is x can be an element of real numbers. That's what we write when there's an infinite amount of x values. Now what about the range? The range can be anything as long as it's between 1 and 3. Notice how this wave is never leaving that range between 1 and 3, the y values 1 and 3. So the y value can be anything as long as it's between 1 and 3. All right, so there's an infinite amount of y values. It could be 1.01, 1.001, 1.0001, 1 or 2.9, 2.99, etc. An infinite amount of y values as long as the y values are between 1 and 3. And notice how I wrote inclusive of 1 and 3. So y has to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 3 because it is hitting the y values of 3 and 1 in the graph. Now, is this a function or not? Simple, run a vertical line test through it, and there are no points on the graph where the vertical line is touching twice. So, it passes the vertical line test, it is a function. Moving on to part B, we have a graph with a set of coordinates, and this is very similar to when we were finding the domain and range from a table of values, or a list of coordinates. So, the domain is the set of x values, and we have to write them from lowest to highest, and any x values that repeat twice, we only write once. So let's go from left to right. So negative 3 comes first. This negative 2 appears twice, but we only write it once. There is no value for negative 1. 0 appears, 1 appears, and then 2 appears. So this is our domain here, lowest to highest, and the value of negative 2 only appears once when writing the domain. Let's do the same thing for the range. So, from the, so for the y values, going from the bottom to the top, y value of 0 comes first, then comes a y value of 1. It actually appears three times, but we only write it once. There is no value of 2 and a y value of 3. So 0, 1, 3 is our range. Is this a function or not? Well, let's take a vertical line and run it through it. No, it's not. Because at an x value of negative 2, the relation is touching the vertical line twice. So there are multiple y values for an x value of negative 2. So we know that this is not a function. It doesn't pass the vertical line test. Another point I want to make about a comparison of part B and part A is notice how in part B when we did the domain and range, we didn't include this x is an element of real numbers and this y is an element of real numbers. And that's because there was discrete points. There was no values of x that it could take in between. Basically, you write this element of real numbers in the domain and range whenever you see a continuous line on a graph or in a relation. So notice how here this is a continuous line so you know that there are going to be an infinite amount of x values and y values on that line. Here in part C and part D, again, there's continuous lines, any kind of line on a relation. Whenever you see any kind of line, you know that the domain and range is going to contain this x element of real numbers and this y element of real numbers. In this case, it was all discrete points, so the domain and range is a list of discrete points. Moving on to part C, so we have this parabola that's facing downwards at a vertex of 2 and 5. So the domain of a parabola of a regular parabola is always x is an element of real numbers. There's no limit on x, it's infinite. There's an infinite amount of x values. What about the range? 
the range of a parabola always depends on the vertex. So the range, notice how the y values can be anything. However, they have to be less than or equal to 5, which is the max value or the y value of the vertex. Again, as I mentioned in part B and part A, continuous line, x is an element of real numbers, y is an element of real numbers. Those are included in the domain and range. Now, is this a function or not? Let's run a vertical line through it. Running a vertical line through this parabola, it does pass it. There are no points where it touches twice, so it is a function. A regular parabola that's either opening down or up will always be a function. It will always pass the vertical line test and the domain will always be x is an element of real numbers. The only restriction is going to be on the range and that's going to depend on the vertex, the y value of the vertex, and whether or not the, fun the parabola is opening down or up. Let's go to part D. This is not a regular parabola, it's a sideways parabola. So the domain range is going to be a little different. So notice now how the x values can be anything, but they have to be greater than negative 3 and 0. Negative 3 and 0 represent this vertex of this sideways parabola. So the domain is x is an element of real numbers, but it has to be greater than or equal to negative 3. And now the range, the y values can be anything. There's no restrictions on the y values. It goes on forever. So the range is y is an element of real numbers. Is this a function or not? Run a vertical line through it. No, it's not because there's multiple points on the relation that is touching the vertical line. So it's not a function. Okay, so one more time, multiple y values for a single x value means it's not a function. So a regular parabola and a sideways parabola the properties are sort of flipped over. Here on the domain there was no restrictions. Here in the range there's no restrictions. Here in the range there was a restriction. Here in the domain there was a restriction. This one was a function. This one isn't a function.